One of the main ways to make your footage more cinematic is by desaturating your shadows. Now let's begin by selecting our clip on the timeline and going up to the color tab. This will open up the Lumetri color panel. Under basic correction, let's increase the saturation to make this footage come to life. While this gave my scene some much needed color, saturating your footage has a way of making all your shadows look blue. To fix this, let's open up HSL Secondary. Then scroll down to the bottom and lower the saturation to zero. It won't affect our shadow saturation yet, so don't be alarmed when nothing happens. Next, under Key, select the white color to target the darkest shadows. Now first, let's drag this top triangle to expand our key selection range which we'll use to select our shadows. Don't worry about the size of your selection yet. Then drag the center of the selection all the way to the left. When this white bar is pressed all the way against the left side, you're targeting the darkest shadows which are represented by black. Some of my shadows aren't super dark though, so I'll move my selection a little to the right so I get more of them. Now back to this top triangle, dragging it will affect how much of your shadows you'd like to select. To refine our selection, we'll use this bottom triangle. This will make your selection more gradual so you can be precise. Okay, now I'll just toggle on and off my HSL secondary to see that I've gotten rid of the blue shadows and made my footage more cinematic. Finally, you can make your shadows even darker by dragging the slider next to the color wheel down. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. While I made this look simple, it'll probably take you quite a bit of time tinkering around with the luminance controls to get everything right. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.